There was a celebration today outside the medium security jail, also known as the workhouse in North St. Louis. As Five on Your Side's Robert Townsend reports, the group's so-called victory lap came just two days after the Board of Aldermen voted to permanently close the facility. On a hot Sunday afternoon, a long line of drivers were on a mission outside the medium security jail in North City. <laughs> Members of Close the Workhouse and Art City Defenders pulled up in their cars, chanted, held signs, and continuously honked their horns during what they called a victory lap. We're gonna celebrate today. For years, people have held protests pleading for the city to close the workhouse that's been around for more than 50 years. Critics said the facility housed inmates in unconstitutional and inhumane conditions. On Friday, the St. Louis Board of Aldermen voted unanimously to shut it down. And these demonstrators called the impending closure a huge victory. We accomplished something that no one thought we would be able to accomplish. It does not belong here. For Martha Moore, the protest was personal. Before riding in the so-called victory lap, Moore and her husband held pictures of her brother outside the jail. Nearly a year ago, 35-year-old Chris Brown died while he was an inmate at the workhouse. According to the medical examiner, the cause of death was an accidental fentanyl overdose. He had said some horrible things that had happened to him in here that no human being should have to deal with. And nobody's been accountable. In the past two years, the city has invested in upgrades at the jail. While the city hasn't said where inmates will be relocated, if this jail permanently closes, protesters believe there's room to move the inmates to the city's newer jail downtown. Meanwhile, the mayor still must sign the board bill. The people have spoken. Our elected officials have spoken. It is her duty to sign that bill. Robert Townsend, five on your side. City officials say the jail's population is down to about 90 inmates. We're also told Mayor Lada Cruson cut the budget for the workhouse in half and redirected some money to social services. The mayor says she'll review the board bill in more detail in the coming days.